Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Donkey, and welcome to another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. I'd like to thank you all for the positive feedback on the first episode, and for telling me which weapon you'd like to see next. One of the more popular votes was the short double barrel shotgun, so that's the gun we'll be looking at today. From this episode onwards, I'll be adding a new segment into the video where I show you guys all the sights available for the gun that I'm using. So first of all, we have the regular sights, just a standard sight that's on the gun from the beginning. Then we have the glow sight, as you can see there's a very minor difference, just adds a little green dot on the end. Then we have the reflex sight dot, so this is just the reflex sight with a dot. And then we have the reflex sight circle, and this is the one I will be using throughout most of the video. Once again, before we start upgrading the weapon, we're going to be looking at how this weapon does completely unupgraded. So first of all, let's go over the stats. It has 45 damage. I mean, it's a pretty good base uh, damage for a weapon, but of course it's a shotgun, so you would assume that. Uh, the range is terrible, though, and the accuracy is too, but we'll get to that in a second. So fire rate's 36, but the fire rate in this gun is completely irrelevant because it, it's a barrel a uh, double barrel shotgun so it ha only only has two it only holds two ammo so the fire rate's not going to matter if the reload speed isn't up to scratch which in this case uh, the gun actually takes a, a little bit to reload it does take quite a while with only two shots it's a very risky gun to use that's for sure anyway range is 47 also not anything really to hi write home about which means the drop off of the damage is very uh, close basically like you start losing damage very quickly you'll see that especially when we get to the last gun uh, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, accuracy 16. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty crappy. But it's a shotgun. I mean, you can't expect it to have very good range and very good accuracy. It's, it does what it does best at close range. So anyway, you saw us taking care of the ghouls. Uh, probably the easier party to take care of because they are melee. So they like to get all up in your face. Um, it's harder to take care of the... Um, the enemy uh, raiders because they they uh, they shoot at you and it hurts when they shoot at you and you have to get in their face otherwise the shotgun just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. As you saw there, I uh, sped up the footage a little bit because otherwise it just drags on and it was basically me just sort of looking for the last enemy and trying to get a good approach on him. So now we get to the uh, super mutant and you can see we do a fair amount of damage. It definitely is easier to take him down with the uh, shotgun than it is with the 10 millimeter pistol, but we do take a lot of damage in the process. Alright, so we've just seen the unmodded short double barrel shotgun in action. It's time to do some upgrades. So this first one, we once again don't need requirements to do any of these upgrades. So for the receiver, we're going to start with a hardened receiver. Very similar to the previous 10mm uh, builds where we start with just basically plain damage. But I will show some different builds uh, in this video um, later on when we get to the critical damage things like that. Um, for example, we could do that right now as well. We could go for the calibrated receiver to get the better critical shot damage. And I think for a shotgun, it's not a terrible idea because uh, it already has such a base uh, high amount of damage. If you get critical shots with that, it's pretty good. But we're going to go for the hardened for this one. Um, for the short barrel, we're going to change that to a long barrel. These barrels, none of them need any requirements, so you can upgrade this right away. Uh, you can see it just massively upgrades uh, the range and the accuracy. Uh, for the sawed-off barrel, it, um, it it reduces the range and accuracy by a tremendous amount. It actually goes down to three, which is not very good. Uh, but the uh, superior critical shot damage is absolutely insane. If you get criticals with this weapon, it does tremendous amounts of damage. But for this build, we're going to go for a long barrel. For the stock, we're going to stick to a short stock because the full stock requires gun nut rank 2. The sights, this is a preference. All of these, once again, are unlocked from the start, so you don't need to have any... Um, and you need to level your gun nut up to unlock any of these. So we're going to go for a reflex sight circle. Same as with the previous video, uh, or with the previous gun, the 10mm pistol. It's just a, a preference. To be fair, using a shotgun, you're not going to be looking down your sights very much anyway. So if you want to uh, save your uh, materials, you may as well not go for this. But since I have infinite materials, I'm going to go for the reflex sight dot. But again, you don't have to necessarily go. You can just stick to standard sights. Um, and even if you don't, even if you do prefer the circle, it still isn't necessar really necessary. Because you're always going to be at short range anyway. For the uh, muzzle, we're going to be leaving it on a no, mu no muzzle because we can't upgrade to uh, any of these other ones because once again, gun nut rank 2. So that is the tactical hardened double barrel shotgun. Let's see it in action. So now it's time to see how the tactical hardened double barrel shotgun does in action. Uh, this, this gun has a lot of things already uh, unlocked without any requirement needed. Uh, so you don't need gun nut rank 1 or 2 uh, to get this shotgun upgraded a fair bit. Of course, we are going into the gun nut rank 2 in a minute. But um, yeah, this, this gun has a, a pretty big upgrade from the regular uh, short double barrel shotgun. Just with, uh, with no requirements, basically. 
So anyway, let's go over the damage. That's 56 damage up from 45, I believe the standard one was. It's a pretty significant number. It's 11 damage or extra already. Fire rate, again, doesn't really matter. 36 is the same, but it, it has no... Uh, it's completely unrelated to this gun, basically. The range has gone up a fair bit to 71 because of the long barrel. Accuracy gone up a little bit as well, but again, it doesn't really matter. To be fair, the stats on this weapon are sort of irrelevant anyway, because with a shotgun, you have to get in their face anyway. Like, even if the range and the accuracy go up a little bit, you still need to get up in their face to do a lot of damage. Um, of course, the other stats are uh, completely irrelevant weight and things like that, so we're not going to even look at that. But you can see, once you do get in an enemy's face, the damage is tremendous, and already with this just barely upgraded shotgun, or at least the upgraded shotgun without any requirements, it's it's already pretty good. Super Moon also goes down very rapidly. So now that we've seen the tactical hard and short double barrel shotgun in action, it's time to upgrade it some more. So we're going to skip straight, straight past the gun nut rank 1 requirements. We're going to go for gun nut rank 2 immediately. Because I'll show you the only thing that you can unlock for gun nut rank 1 are these two things. Um, a hair trigger receiver, which is very terrible because on a double barrel shotgun having a higher fire rate is completely pointless because you have to reload after two shots anyway. Uh, and a powerful receiver is better, so I will definitely say if you only have gun nut rank 1, Feel free to go for the powerful receiver, uh, powerful receiver over the hardened receiver. But seeing as that's the only change, I'm not going to actually showcase it right now. We're going to go straight for uh, gun nut rank 2. And there's two options here. I'm going to start with this one, uh, the advanced receiver, which again is just pure better damage. This is just plain damage. Exceptional damage, more sensitive trigger, which again doesn't matter at all. But it's just about the damage here. And a better rate of fire, again, completely pointless. But we're going to go for that. Um, in the next build, I'm going to show you guys the calibrator powerful receiver, and I'm going to show you uh, the other things I'm going to go for as well with that. So the barrel, uh, we are once again, gonna, once again going to go for the long barrel, because we want the superior range. Basically, this build is more about damage at a bit of a distance, uh, while the other one is going to go for complete ridiculous critical damage at short range. Uh, for the stock, we're going to go for the full stock, because now we've unlocked that, um, and we may as well do that. There's better recoil. It doesn't change anything besides that. Again, this is another one where you don't necessarily have to go for it, because the recoil is fairly pointless with only two shots in the barrel. You shoot once, you wait half a second, you shoot again. No matter if you have better recoil or not, it's not going to make much of a difference. But, because we have infinite materials, I'm going to go for that. But this, again, you don't have to go for it. It doesn't change too much. The sights, same thing. I'm going to go for the reflex sight, because that's personal preference. And the muzzle, this time we can actually upgrade. So, we have two choices here. We can go for the muzzle brake and the spike muzzle uh, brake. It doesn't change anything in the way of stats, uh, but that it does give better recoil control uh, and better per shot recoil. This one has an improved bash on top of that. Um, it has inferior range, just like the other ones well. So the only difference between these is the improved bash um, and the require or the uh, materials go up a little bit. You, have to, you need more for this one than you need for the buzzle break. Again, this is another upgrade that doesn't necessarily have to happen. Um, because the recoil control isn't too important, but the accuracy goes up a little bit, so I think it's just worth it. And the improved bash with a shotgun is not a bad thing, because you're going you're gonna to be in close range. You only have two shots, you may need to finish off an enemy with just a quick bash. That is the muzzled advanced double arrow shotgun. So let's have a look at the muzzled advanced double barrel shotgun. So this gun is the highest we're going to be able to get on the shotgun. The next one uh, is not going to have more damage, but it's going to be focused on critical damage instead. So you can see that this, this shotgun actually does a fair bit of damage at distance already. Damage is 78, by the way. Let's go over the statistics. Fire rate, 181 now. But again, it doesn't matter. It basically is the same as it was before because it, it all depends on the reload speed. It only holds two chambers or two two shells, so it's not going to make any difference. The range is only 53, but it does seem to do better at uh, longer ranges than the previous one. Well, longer ranges, I say. It's still it's, it's a matter of one yard, perhaps. Um, the accuracy, 42. Again, pretty irrelevant. I'm going to go over these stats regardless, but they are just pretty irrelevant. The weight, by the way, 15.2. It's a very heavy shotgun. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, these these um, raiders went down fairly easily. You'll see the super mutants. Actually, a bit more trouble than with the previous gun, but that's just like, it, it's variant sometimes as well. You can see we did a lot of damage there, but he actually manages to hurt us quite a bit. I missed two shots there for whatever reason, but he does go down in the end. So seeing the muzzled advanced double barrel shotgun in action, it's time to do the final upgrade. So this gun is not necessarily better or worse than the previous one, but it is different. So with this one, we're going to go for a pure critical damage build. 
I wanted to show off a different kind of build. I probably should have done this with the 10 millimeter video as well, showing you different kinds of builds, not just what I prefer. I should have shown you the automatic pistol and armor piercing, things like that. Um, but that's why I'm gonna start doing that from now on, basically. I'll, st I'll start showing you different kinds of builds. So for this one, we're gonna go for the calibrated powerful receiver, also requires gun nut rank two. Has superior damage, better critical shot damage and accuracy. So it doesn't have as much damage as the advanced receiver. Uh, it goes down by uh, 11, which is a fairly significant um, number but the accuracy goes up a little bit not too important though with this build but still uh, it's mostly about the better critical better critical shot damage and accurate well better critical shot damage not the accuracy for the barrel we're gonna go for the sawed off barrel so this has the superior critical shot damage so again that goes together with the better critical shot damage from the previous one inferior range and widespread so this is a pure like close range uh kind of shotgun which is basically what it's meant for anyway so it makes sense uh for the stock this is once again one where you don't have to necessarily go for it um, it gives you better recoil, not too important though. Actually makes it look kind of funny as well, <laughs> just as an added bonus, but we're gonna go for it because we can. Um, but again, this is not necessarily something that you need. It does require gun nut rank 2 as well. Sights, we're gonna go for the circle. There's actually a bit of a bug when you make this weapon, uh, when you start uh, going for the sawed-off barrel. For some reason you have two of these, but it doesn't matter which one you change, it still just shows you... Um, like, I changed one of them and it, ch it changes the other one as well, so I don't know why this is, but it's just a bug, I think. And then for the muzzle, we're going to go for the spiked muzzle brake again. Same reason as the previous one. Um, it, you don't have to go for it, but it's just a, a nice added bonus. Um, the improved bash helps as well. And yeah, it's just going to do tons of damage in close range. So let's find out how it works in action. The muzzled, calibrated, powerful double barrel shotgun. It's time for the last upgraded gun we're going to be making. The muzzled, calibrated, powerful double barrel shotgun. Probably the longest name in a gun we'll ever see. Uh, the Feral Ghouls, again, this 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 is the critical base damage gun, basically. This gun does extremely well at short ranges. You'll see that when we take out the Super Mutant in a minute. Uh, the gun is absolutely ridiculous at, like, basically in-your-face range, but anything beyond in-your-face range is not very good. You'll see in a minute once we start taking out these Raiders. You'll see it there as well. It just doesn't do any damage if it's anything further than literally in the face of the enemy. Uh, you'll see we start taking them down properly when we get right up in their face, but then when they move away a little bit, the damage just drops off tremendously. So anyway, statistics. Seven, uh, 67 damage, so it's a, it's a downgrade from the last one, but like I said, the range is so short and it's all about getting up in your face, and the critical damage is absolutely immense. Fire is down to 36 again, irrelevant. Range is 17, it's the lowest we've got it so far. Accuracy 31, also very terrible. There you can see, by the way, we hit that ra Raider when he was on like a few HP and it just didn't do anything but then that guy goes down so fast. And now watch this Super Mutant. This is the fastest we're probably gonna be able to uh, ever kill this guy. It's absolutely insane. We need four shots and he's dead. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. Please feel free to let me know which gun you'd like me to cover next time. And until then, have a good day and goodbye.